there is an equilateral triangle with a square inscribed inside it. One of the sides of the square lies on a side of the equilateral triangle. What is the ratio of area of the square to that of the equilateral triangle? There is an equilateral triangle inside which we have a square. We need to find area of the square, ratio of area of the square to that of the equilateral triangle. In all of these questions boil down to find linking something between one metric of the square so we say side of the square is a then we need to find side of the equilateral triangle in terms of a we call that as say b we find something linking a and b we are through and the whole approach in all of these questions ratio of areas ratio of perimeters whatever it is between two shapes equilateral triangle square circle are the most common whatever it is linking these shapes all we need to do is find the ratio of the base unit for one vis a -vis the other. Everything else we can work out after. I am going to go ahead and start with the, with the digital diagram which is slightly better than this one. So, this is let us say this is a equal triangle of side ABC, PQRS is a square A, 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 A. Now, this angle is 60, this is 90, 90, this angle is 60. This, is a, this triangle PBS is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. You know, little bit of trigonometry we can find BS. BS is half of the equilateral triangle which will have side BP. The 30, 60, 60, this, this 30, 60, 90 triangle is half of the 60, 60, 60 triangle. The other way of doing this is B tan of 60 is PS by BS which is root 3 or BS is A by root RC is going to be symmetric, same idea A by root 3. So, side of the equilateral triangle, which is effectively what we are looking for in terms of A is nothing but A plus A by root 3 plus A by root 3. We we'll just get to the question. We have got side of the equilateral triangle in terms of side of the square. Area of the square is very easy. Area of the square is A square. This area is very easy to find. Area of the equilateral triangle is what we need to find, which is effectively root 3 by 4 times A plus 2a by root 3 whole square. We have an expression for both of these. All we need to do is simplify that and find. Let's do that. So, area of equal triangle is root 3 by 5 into a plus 2a by root 3 the whole square. Root 3 by 4 into a plus 2a by root 3 the whole square. If we take the LCM here, this is root 3a plus 2a by root 3 the whole square. So, the whole into root 3 by 4 means we can have root 3 by 4 outside, a square outside, there is an extra 3 outside into root 3 plus 2 the whole square which is 3 plus 4 plus 4 root 3, a square plus b square plus 2ab or root 3 a square by 12 into 7 plus 4 root 3. Let us simplify that also, 7 plus 4 root 3 we can obviously multiply this. You get 7 plus 4 root 3 into into root 3 a square by 12. This is a square into 7 root 3 plus 12 by 12. The ratio that we are looking for is a square is to this. Area of square is to this. This gets knocked off or it's nothing but 12 is to 7 root 3. A ratio of area of the square to that of the equal triangle is 12 to 7 root 3. Wonderful question again stems from totally staying on top of equal triangle. You should know everything about the equal triangle ratio of side the 30, 60, 90 triangle, just one half of an equal triangle. Knowing the ratio of that right angle triangle may be a little bit of trigonometry uh, and then bang it in. You want to find the side of the equal triangle in terms of a once you know that you have to area of equal triangle root 3 by 4 a square. All of these should completely be on top of. 